subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Hi friends, any guesses what time it is? It is weekly meal planning time. But this week is gonna be really easy because I already have um, done a little bit of pre-planning online. I had some credit for a meal service delivery. Actually, it was Home Chef. So I decided to go ahead and use it this week. So I have three meals coming. And so then I have to just subsidize those three meals. So let me bring you over and let's get the planning. And we are going to Costco and then one other grocery store. Costco, primarily not for groceries. Our dogs need dog food. That's really why we're going. And um, I'm not sure what grocery store we'll go to, but let me bring you over and let's get to planning. Okay, so like normal, I have my little fun weekly meal plan. I absolutely love this. I got it at Home Goods. I just happened to see it, but it has a list on one side for your grocery list and then your meal planning on the other. And I typically start my meal plan on Saturday or Sunday, and then I plan for that following week. So I actually, we okay, so we are down here on this Saturday. So I'll plan Saturday and Sunday and then back up to Monday, which Monday is the day my home chef gets delivered. And like I said, I got three meals from that, but they're all express meals. I'll bring you over here as best I can. So I got a sirloin steak with Marsala mushroom sauce coming. I got a panko crusted chicken with sun dried tomato butter and then a steak and mushroom risotto. But like I said, the, the one taking the most time is supposed to be the steak for 20 minutes. I am going to go ahead, and the way I'm going to do this, I have my workouts marked on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'm working out. And then um, on Thursday, I'm also working from home. And that's really all we got going on today is Saturday. So I am going to meal plan for today. But I already think I know what I'm going to do for that. I think I'm going to do a rotisserie chicken with a couscous salad from Costco. And that will definitely give me leftovers for like lunches or whatever. It's just easy. And my husband's going to be out tonight. So I don't want to like cook something and it go unappreciated. And then for the home chef, I'll do the steak marsala on Monday. It's the one that takes the longest time. I don't know why. That's just the one I'm picking to do. And then I work from home on Thursday. So that's another great night to actually cook a meal. And I'll go ahead and do the risotto on Thursday. Just to spread out. They both have beef, so I'm spreading out the two steak meals. And Wednesday, I will do the sun-dried tomato chicken. So that leaves me three nights for meals. That leaves me Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, which is tomorrow. So let me go look and see what time the Cowboys play, because that could impact my Sunday. And I think what I'll do is whatever I cook Sunday will be leftovers for Tuesday. So I can go ahead and put leftovers on Tuesday. Okay, I actually looked in the Cowboys play at 325, but I think I'm really craving chicken and dumplings. And that's a pretty easy meal, and I think I can do it fairly low points as well. So we'll put chicken and dumplings. It's getting a little cool in Texas. And no, I do not make homemade dumplings. I actually don't prefer it. I'm, I like the just biscuits. So that will be left over. So then that only leaves next Friday. Um, let's see. Do we want to eat out? I will say on Friday, we'll either eat Friday night out. We'll go pick something up. Or we can just do... Um, nugget bowls like KFC bowls because we already have everything on hand which I've actually never done the bowls but we do have all the ingredients so that way if I don't make that everything's frozen or like pantry items so it won't go bad so I don't have to worry about that so now I'm just going to look at what I'm cooking which mainly the only ingredient meal I'm actually having to pick up stuff for is the chicken and dumplings so let me make that list and then I'll see what we need just for like our lunches and breakfast and stuff. Yeah, this is the time where I just like go through my pantry and freezer and see what all we need. I don't think we need much and I don't want to get much because it's the 11th today and we go out of town on the 22nd. So I don't want to like buy a lot of excess stuff. 
So for the chicken and dumplings, I know we need biscuits, just canned, good old canned biscuits. I like the butter tasting for chicken and dumplings. Um, and I'm gonna get a can of cream and chicken, fat free. Uh, I have an onion, so I'm good there. What else do we put in our dumplings, do we? Adding the cream of chickens, uh, I think Byron's nanny taught me, and it works out really well to like thicken them up a little bit. Because we like ours a thicker broth rather than a super runny, soupy broth on chicken and dumplings. I guess, and I feel like with chicken and dumplings, yes, I could use rotisserie chicken and save myself the hassle. But honestly, I feel like you really do need that broth to um, enhance the flavor. So I'm going to get a whole chicken. And I have parsley in my garden. We like parsley in ours. So I think that'll be it for the chicken and dumplings. Now I just have to come up with what I'm going to eat for lunch. I know that chicken, um, the rotisserie chicken and the couscous I bought from Costco, I know that'll give me a ton. So I think I'm going to meal plan around those. I also have a thing of lunch meat that's going bad, like one little package I need to use. So I'm going to have a sandwich one day. I will have the chicken and couscous at least two days. So that's three lunches. And then um, if I just get a bag salad, that's two more lunches and then I'm done. Isn't that so easy? And where I have been struggling is in the breakfast department. Because I haven't been prepping my breakfast. So it's in the mornings I'm a little more pressed to make something. And so every morning I've been eating a little something different or skipping breakfast if I'm not that hungry. But I really don't, I wanna get off that habit and get back to meal prepping my breakfast. It just makes it easier and I feel like I have more time for me and the dogs in the morning rather than having to think, oh, what am I cooking today? So what should I make for breakfast this week? You know, an easy is egg cups. Egg cups is always easy. I'm debating egg cups or breakfast jacks, homemade breakfast jacks. I really kind of want to eat breakfast cups because, and make them zero points just to, you know, I'm in weight loss mode now, but I'm doing a series copycat breakfast places. So if I make the breakfast jacks, it gives me a video, <laughs> but then I have all those ingredients for the breakfast jack. And if I don't plan on eating them all, I don't want to have it on hand before vacation. So I'm just going to go egg cups. So I'll get some veggies for egg cups. I like mushrooms and or zucchini, tomato, not tomato, I'm sorry, onion, that sort of thing. I keep it very, very simple, but I do like to use egg whites, so I need to get egg whites. I had cantaloupe this week, and it was so fresh and so good, so I'm going to do cantaloupe again as my fruit. My husband will get bananas for him or whatever TV dinners. I also have a TV dinner I could eat if none of the bag salads look good. Matter of fact, I think I'll do that. I've been eating salad a lot. I don't want a bag salad. I will go ahead and pick up a bag salad to subsidize maybe some of the dinner. Some of these meal deliveries could be kind of small or when we um, chicken and dumplings, we may want it. Okay, enough meal plan, enough chitter chatter. Let's go to Costco. I wanted to get the stir so what I wonder how bad those heavenly chunks are. With the Boston cream. This is a well. This is a well-stocked car following Costco. We are back from Costco. I'm still using my Instacrates that I bought a few times ago for $9. Absolutely love them. Two fit side by side in my trunk, just perfectly. We also ran to Home Goods, but let me get sit down and get you rolling and show you everything we got. But first, let's go Rio. What are you doing? Let's go outside and look at the few things I'm not bringing inside. The bigger items that aren't worth it to bring inside, I'll show you really quickly. So we got two things of the beef grain-free dog food. Asher eats that one. 
that does really well on his sensitive stomach. He is allergic to grain. And then we buy, hang on, Rio, get our ash, get back. We buy the weight management dog food for little Rio. He's super excited. And then we also got a case of water. So we spent $470, but just the three dog foods, like the yellows are 35 each. And then that one's like 30. Rio's last forever, but obviously he goes through like two, two and a half a month. Come on, Ash. Okay, so let's run through everything I got from Costco. I will say we got way more than I intended. It was way more expensive than what I wanted it to be. I find that that can happen at Costco really easily, but it's okay. Once I break everything out into budgets, because we got some stuff for gifts, some stuff for the dogs, some grocery, some clothing, so we spent $470, but once I break it down, it's not super high per category. Sorry if you hear some crunching. That is my dogs eating some treats I just gave them. I didn't know it'd be so loud. <laughs> really, Ash? Okay. But first things first, we got these huge paper plates. And, and these... Really, Ash? Are you trying to be as loud as you can? Okay, hopefully he's done crunching. But anyways, we got these paper plates and they are the really big ones. We prefer these, I think. We like both, there's like a smaller size. But these were on sale, so we had to pick them up and it's perfect timing because we just uh, put like the smallest amount in our pantry and they ran out, so great timing. I like to shop the sales at Costco. Typically for go-to items, we only shop sales. It just gets too expensive if not. Okay, let's go through the next box. This is something my husband picked up. These Boston mini cream cakes, buntlet cakes. I don't know. I will at least try them because they look delicious, but I definitely won't be eating these. He will eat these and take them to work. It's There's nine of them in here, and it's 280 calories, but man, they look good. And they're hefty, too. They were in like near the bread area and you can tell they're like frozen and they just brought them out. So I'm thinking maybe we'd be best put on them into the refrigerator. But I will put all the points up on the screen. We just got home and rather unpack and scan. It's just easier to scan it after I finish filming. Okay. We also got some real good lightly breaded chicken strips. I do really like these and again, they were on sale so it made them really affordable. And the serving size of four ounces is only three points. I've scanned these when I was in the store just to check. These would be great on KFC bowls or just a side with a roasted vegetable and maybe some mac and cheese. Just to keep it really simple, we like to have something like this on hand and we were running low on options like this. If it wasn't on sale, I wouldn't have picked it up though. Same goes for these spinach egg white frittatas. I do know I like these. They were tasting them in Costco last month when we went, but I didn't get them. But today they were on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed them. It made the box, I think, right around $10, which um, there's 20 of them in here, and you can have two of these for three points or one for two points. I think I'll always eat two for three points. Just a great option to have in your freezer. You know, I like having convenience items for breakfast, for sure. Now, these were on sale, and they are higher point. I believe they're 12 points, 12 or 11 points each. We scanned them one in the store, and the justification here is I can have a side salad, and it's still a relatively okay point dinner. Or the cheese ones may be less points. I think the pepperoni was 12. I could do 12 and add my own turkey pepperoni and maybe save a point there. But the whole box was like eight bucks. It was le way less than a dollar of pizza. So we thought for sure we'd go ahead and grab these while they were on sale. We've never tried these though, but they were flying off the shelf, so they must be good. Or they were just cheap. <laughs> this was something we did not plan to buy and it was not on sale, but it is a whole duck. We both really love duck. Usually I've only ever cooked duck breast though. I can't remember a time I've cooked a whole duck, but I'm not going to be cooking it um, anytime here soon, but we're just going to throw it in the freezer. It was already frozen, so we'll throw it in the freezer, and around the holidays, we'll cook it up. If we host Christmas, maybe we'll do this alongside of our turkey. Who knows? But can't wait to give it a go. And it was like $17. I felt like it wasn't a bad price for what it was. 
Okay. I got a package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and they were $3.50 a pound, which was okay. And I love Costco, how they do their chicken. Let me show you what I mean by that. Everything comes in these packages and you literally just cut it all apart and then freeze it and so you have really good portion control there. But I was surprised to see that they actually had a cost reduction in their chicken breast. Full of skinless, skinless chicken breast is only $2.99 a pound where it used to be $3.50 a pound. And I know Black Friday they're going to have a sell on chicken breast. They're going to do like 4 or $5 off a package, I think. But unfortunately, we'll be out of town, so we won't get to take advantage of that cell. But just running low on protein, so that's why I grabbed those. The um, chicken breasts are zero points. The chicken thighs, you do have to count points for. I think for the boneless ones, I think it'll be three points for four ounces, if I'm not mistaken. But we just wanted to, you know, something different every now and again. We haven't done um, chicken thighs in a really long time. And we actually had it recently with the meal. Oh, the Trader Joe's chicken shawarma is thighs. And it made us realize we miss having thighs. So I'm going to have some of those. Let me put up all that cold stuff. So it comes like that. And you just cut it in half this way. Then you're left with six packs of two. And then you just slide your scissors and divide them. So, free portioned like that. I already did the chicken. Well, they're both chicken. I already did the chicken breast. And this is why I like their chicken. I like how it's portioned. So, we picked up these ramen miso bowls from Snap Snap Dragon. We haven't ever tried these before, but we've really been loving the faux bowls. For like eight points a super convenient meal for the faux ones so this one i thought you know boil egg throw in some corn throw in some rotisserie chicken or some previously grilled meat just keep it really simple and i think it's like nine points each but it's just a go-to dinner on busy nights i'll let you know how we like them we haven't tried them yet but they were on sale so they were under like 80 cents a cup i think and it's the brand I'm counting on to like these because I know I like the brand and other things. It's like, they're so flavorful. Got these little Nature Valley biscuits. My husband loves these. He takes one to work pretty much every day, if not every other day. They're just like his morning snack he prefers. I, I think I've tried it maybe once or tried to buy it. I, I don't really eat those. But I did get this strawberry shortcake granola to try out. Granola is high in points, but a little goes a long way. I want to incorporate it into yogurt bowls. I don't eat many of those, but every once in a while. And I want to incorporate it into some strawberry shortcake desserts that you can make for super low points. This was actually, I think, on clearance because it was only like $5 for the bag. And there was only like two bags left. And I had seen it a while back and wanted to try it. So I was super excited to get to give it a go at such a reduced cost. And it's good for a long time, so I don't have to worry about it going bad on me. And we've got the quintessential rotisserie chicken from Costco. I don't think I've ever been to Costco and not picked these up. The plan was to have this for dinner tonight with a couscous salad. But sadly, they do not have the couscous salad. And they didn't really have many low point options for like a side. So I haven't determined what I'm going to do with that yet. And that kind of also puts a damper on my week lunch plans because I planned on eating the leftovers for lunch. So it throws off my whole week. So I'll probably be eating salads for lunch again this week. It's okay, but you know, it does get old. Another thing we picked up was a ton of Ziploc bags. These were on sale. We've never bought them from there on sale, mainly because I just don't really like Ziploc. I usually like, like the slide, but couldn't beat the price and we did need some. So I went ahead and I was like, you know what, we'll give it a go again. And then my husband wanted some slacks and this is a brand he's tried before. It is Hagar, I think. He wanted black, but they only had gray, but they were on sale for like $8. And so he went ahead and just grabbed two. He wears these to work. So he was happy with that. Keeping with the clothes, I also got me these boot socks. They were on sale. I think it was like six something for the package and it's six pairs. So they were about a dollar a pair. These are like the ones you're supposed to be able to like show above the boot. But 
I thought they felt good. I like the colors and I, I, I just, socks. <laughs> and then my husband also got two pair, two boxes of his favorite underwear, the Puma ones. He just prefers these. And we're getting ready to go to Costa Rica and it was recommended that you bring double the amount of underwear as you think you need because you sweat so much and it's so humid. So he was like, I need more underwear. So, how do you do that? Oh, uh, what else do we get? Um, deodorant was on sale, the Dove one, and I had it in my cart, but then I realized the secret was actually cheaper anyways. Typically I do use Dove, but hopefully this one's good because it ended up only being like 80 cents a um, container. So great price. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, oh, here's a food item. So we got this, not last year, but I think the year before. It's like a four pack of jams, specifically more jams to go on charcuterie boards. Cause you got bacon, apple and, bacon and apple jam. Hot serrano pepper jam, which that one's one of my favorites, along with this amaretto peach preserves. That one's also a favorite of mine. And then toasted cinnamon pear preserves. And this is actually from a company in Fredericksburg, which is a town in Texas. So great to support a local person. I will say they were up like $5 compared to the previous two years we bought them, but that's okay. They last us forever. We I love jam with my cheese. So how do you get these? I know they won't be uh, healthy. They're 45, three of them are 45 calories for one tablespoon and the other one's 30 calories for one tablespoon. So not too terribly bad in calories, but they do have added sugars. So they're gonna be high point. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'll scan all these in. If you're gonna eat a jam, just scan it in. Oh, what else? Okay, the only other thing we got, we got some household items. We got these for our laundry. I just find that they make the laundry smell good. That's really like all they're for. We buy the Kirkland brand. I don't know if we tried these out, the Kirkland ones yet. I can't remember what brand we had, but these were cheaper per ounce than even the name brand on sale. So we're gonna give these bad boys a go. <sighs> Also picked up this four pack of soap, mainly because the scents, the scents sounded so good to me. The lemon, verbena, sweet orange, coconut hibiscus, and garden, white gardenia. So, but those are glass bottles. I thought the bottles were like so pretty and it's so heavy. That's why I'm like lifting it up. And they came to like $3.25 a bottle. So that's super cheap and we wore low on hand soap. But I haven't decided. I may like divide this up and make like a little hand um, like gift basket. Maybe for my employees or my in-laws or something. You know, you could put a hand of like, you could put some high-end nail polish, some cuticle cream, some hand slob. Just make like a whole little hand thing. What do y'all think of that? <laughs> And then my husband and I, we picked up these power banks. We have an anchor power bank, which we absolutely love, but it is not wireless. So we thought these were pretty cool, each of us to have. It's just more convenient. We'll, we'll definitely use both depending, like if we're just going to a concert, I would grab this. But if I'm going like somewhere uh, long-term, like backpacking, I would grab my anchor. So, and it was two for 30 bucks. So you couldn't really pass that up, they were on sale. And then we got two gifts. My mother-in-law loves chocolate and we thought this was just really pretty, um, you know, like gift set. So we saw it, we went ahead and picked this up just as one of her little Christmas presents. She doesn't watch my videos, so we'll be fine. And then for my niece, she loves the Squishmallows and she also loves, or she used to at least, love bath bombs and whatnot. So it's like body soap and a bath bomb and four Squishmallows. So we thought that was a kind of cool gift for her as well. So that's all we got from Costco for $470. I don't know if that's good or bad, who knows nowadays. <laughs> but I did not, it took us way longer, probably because we went, we ate lunch first. We had burger and it was really good. I hadn't had a burger in a while, it was pretty good. And then we went to Home Goods to peruse. It was a madhouse in there and I have never seen so much stuff in my Home Goods. 
but we didn't allow ourselves to focus on the Christmas stuff just because we feel like we're getting ready to go out of town. We, we're not decorated for Christmas yet. I hate that I never have my decorations down by the time stores have their stuff out, so I don't know what I'm missing. I swear, next year I'm gonna have my, my crap out November 1, so that way I'm ready to shop for Christmas for decor items, but anyhow, we did get a few things there. I'll just go ahead and show you after I put these groceries and items away from Costco, but since I didn't get time to go to the regular grocery store, I'm actually gonna place a grocery order just for Walmart so I can just pick it up in the morning. We shouldn't need much. I do have to come up with another meal since the rotisserie chicken is out for the lunch. But, okay, let me pull this away. Now, just for fun, let me trade this way. Let's look what we got from uh, Home Goods. So, first of all, we got the dogs this really big bag of bargain treats. They actually are a bargain. They're like traits and different body parts from different animals. But no rawhide for $13. They absolutely love these. I give them these when I want to like entertain them for a longer period. And then Rio got a little car seat for the car. A dog bed for the car. But the thing is, he likes to move all around. So this has a strap where I can like clip it to him. So he can't go anywhere. And it goes through the seat belts. So we'll see how this goes. We're definitely going to give it a try tonight or tomorrow. I'm super excited to try it out and see how it goes. He likes to be up in the car though, and this isn't really gonna give him that height, but he weighs too much to do those like baskets that hang over the seat. So I may just do this in the back seat and make him sit in the back seat, or I may do it in the front and put a pillow, another pillow under it to prop him up. I like to give it a go. Um, my husband just left for the night. I don't know, I kind of want to wait till he's there so he can like hold the dog and we can do all the different, you know, moving him all around, but he's already into it. He already like wants to be in it. <laughs> oh, what else did we get? My husband picked up some coffee. He actually loves this Mooch, Moose Munch brand. Man, my words today. And he feels like Trader Joe's, oh, that smelled good. He feels like Trader Joe's and Home Goods much cheaper for bag coffee. I don't ever bag, buy bag coffee, but it was six bucks. I can remember when they used to be 4.99, the good old days. I swear, I am so cheap now. But I picked this up for myself. This is cold brew concentrate pumpkin spice. You just add water. I am excited to try this. I'm going to give this a go tomorrow morning. I like it because it's still only 15 calories for zero points. A lot of times when I see stuff like this, they already have the cream and sugar added, so you have to count points. So I'm thinking I can do this and just whip up some almond milk with pumpkin spice seasoning and it will taste so good as a cold from we'll have to give it a go tomorrow we also got another bag of dog treats for my great dane he is he chews up bones so quick so we're always on the hunt for long lasting these seems really dense so we're going to give it a go tomorrow during the football game and see how long they uh keep him busy but they are grain free and there's no raw head as well I'm constantly collecting more pop containers. I haven't had to buy any in a few years now, but I found here lately, you know, there's like one or two items that I would like to put in a container and I don't have one. So I'm just picking out different sizes when we're out and about. I find with stuff like this, that's how to do it. When I originally organized my pantry, I ordered it all in like one go. I will say the quality nowadays is not near as good quality when I first bought them. And actually, I should have paid attention. This one's like way scratched up. Yeah, I feel like used to, they were way more, like the actual plastic was thicker, but it is, and even like the pushing mechanism, I felt well, it was more, it was smoother, but it doesn't stop me from buying them. They're still, the pop ones are still my favorite. But I am disappointed that scratched, but I don't care enough to take it back. How much was it? Let's see. I just tore that off. It was $10.99. I probably should take it back, but I'm really ready to use it. I'll just make sure it's like the ugly sides to the back. I got this bag of Drew's Delicious. I have a ton of the like small bags I bought from Costco, but I had never seen the cookies and cream and my husband wanted to try it. So we went ahead and picked this up. 
And then the last thing we got is this unicorn blanket. And this is actually gonna be a gift for my niece. The same niece that I got those squishmallows for. This throw blanket with a with a uh, hoodie. So I think she'll like it. Seems like it'll be something she'll enjoy. So that is all we got there. And I think our total was like $90 and I had a 10 off coupon. So, you know, we leave the house at 12. We don't get back till five. Does it take you all that long to run a few errands? It's so frustrating. Your whole Saturday's gone if you wanna like run around for a bit. But anyways, let me order my Walmart order. Okay, I am back from Walmart. I just did my grocery pickup. I placed the order last night like at midnight and picked it up today from nine to 10, so that was perfect. It's a really small order because I have those home chefs coming tomorrow. So let me bring you over here and show you what I got to finish out my weekly meal plan. I didn't need much. Sneak peek, I did make some sugar-free um, pineapple crush cupcakes. They just have a box of sugar-free, um, like the yellow cake mix, but it is sugar-free. And I add in two little things of applesauce and then a can of crushed pineapple. And in the sitter is a marshino cherry. So kind of like upside down pound, upside down pineapple, like cake or whatever. And then the pink ones, I added the cherry juice just to mix it up a little bit at the end. Okay, back to the grocery order. First thing I got is a whole chicken. I'm happy this is only $1.32 a pound. Um, not much higher than it used to be. So inflation's not hit the chickens too terribly bad. So that's going to be for the chicken dumplings tonight. Um, I was all out of cornstarch the other day when I made a meal. I didn't even realize it. So I picked up a small thing of cornstarch. You just got to watch it. Cornstarch and baking powder, they go bad. I say fairly quickly, but this one's good for at least till 2025. I also was completely out of butter. I don't use butter very often for obvious reasons since I'm on a health in weight loss mode, but I do need some for an upcoming recipe, so I went ahead and picked that up. My husband uses stevia in his coffee. I do not like that, but he does, so this is for him. I forgot to tell you, it's one point per serving for the cornstarch. I typically don't count it. Um, and then the butter's six points per tablespoon. I did get light corn syrup, which is six points for a serving. This and the butter is going to use for be used for popcorn balls I'm making for my coworkers, um, my team. And then the cream of chicken, this is two points per serving. It is the 98% fat free one. This is gonna go in my chicken and dumplings. My husband's nanny, which is also my nanny, she gave me that trick many years ago to add just a can. It really enhances the flavor. The cream of chicken flavor doesn't come through, but it, it helps thicken it up a little. So to go with the Costco portion of the granola haul, I went ahead and got me two of these Yope Light yogurts. I do not like Greek yogurt and especially do not like fat-free yogurt. So I have to spend the points on my yogurt and it is four points for 80 calories, which I think is kind of crappy. I, this one is the light one, right? Yeah, it's light. Let's see. And only one gram added sugars. Okay, WW, why is this so bad? Please tell me. I don't know, four points seems steep, but that's okay. Oh, down to the produce. Got some pears for my husband. I also like to cut these up when I have a snack board. It's just really nice on the side. Got me some very, very pretty grapes. Can't wait to soak those and munch on those. Spinach and baby arugula. This is one of my favorite mixes to make salad with. And I'll also cook it down. I'm going to cook it down today for my egg cups. Some hearts of romaine. Caesar salad mainly is why I'll use that. But I'll also bucket up, add it to this to bulk it up my salad. Bag of mini cucumbers. I like to snack on these and I love them in salads. Got a snacking avocado. Extra bag of green beans for my dog. We always just order one even though we're stocked just to keep them going. Got my husband three TV dinners. He still has some from last week. So spaghetti and meatballs for eight points. Um, Swedish meatballs for 15 points. And then uh, grilled chicken with pesto for six points. So not too terribly bad. We got some very green bananas. I hope those change here soon. Sometimes when they're this green, they don't change very well, I feel like. The mini marshmallows are also for my popcorn balls. 
and it is six points for the serving. I actually don't like marshmallows, so don't have to worry about me getting into those. Uh, egg whites, that's gonna be for my egg cups I'm making today. And yes, chicken and dumplings, I cheat. I use canned biscuits, I actually prefer it. I do not like homemade biscuits. It's seven points for one biscuit. Um, there wasn't a better alternative, but the soup in general would be really low points, so I'm gonna make it work. I'll probably like toggle it down because one biscuit's 170 calories. I don't know how many I'm gonna actually use. I just bought two cans just in case. Some eggs, always eating eggs in this house, boiled eggs for my salads or to snack on. I also like, um, I eat eggs a lot for breakfast. And then got my husband, two bags of cereal. These are two of his favorite and it is cheaper if you buy the bag. And surprisingly, you may look at this and think, oh, the Crave's the healthier one. Well, it's not. That is eight points per cup in the Reese's. Ash, hush. And the Reese's is. No, no. Where are you at? Where are you at barking randomly? I don't even know, you're up in the window, get down. He's the neighborhood watch, I tell you. Sorry about that. But anyways, the Reese's Puffs is only seven points per cup. And sure enough, when I looked at the nutrition, this one has a lot more added sugar than this one. So that is it. I'm not sure what my bill is because they haven't sent over my receipt, but it was an estimate to be 70. And when I look at that, I'm like, $70? Which, that's actually not true, because two of my items, they were out of cantaloupe, and they said they were out of this, but I ran into the store when my husband was waiting in the car for the pickup, and these were additional $8. Like, why are two items? That seems insane to me, but whatever. So, I'm going to get these groceries put up, do a little meal prep. prep. I'm going to prep my egg bites. I already prepped my muffins slash cupcakes. Those are a treat for people at work, but also for me to have a snack. I think if I remember correctly, it's one or two points per muffin. Not bad at all. It's been out forever since I've um, made them. The only thing you really had to count is technically the cherries one point, but it's only 10 calories. So I don't know if I'll count that. And then the box mix toggled between however many cupcakes you make. Those are the only two ingredients that count points. So it's just really how many muffins you make out of that box really is where your points are coming from. I will say last night I had the rotisserie chicken as planned and I just did a microwave bag of wild rice with some frozen vegetable. These are the frozen vegetables I used in the air fryer and I really liked them. We've had them for a while but I don't use them very often and I forgot how good they are. They are good. So yeah, my, my dinner last night was only five points because I only had to count five points for the rice and I apologize you're not seeing it. Um, I just wasn't thinking about this video when I put it together last night at 9 o'clock at night. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time. Bye.